Welcome back, survivors. As you can see, I've been making a lot of changes here at the base. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of them in this episode. I had originally intended to do that to talk about what all we've been, what all I've changed and redone. But as you can see, a lot has changed over here in the base. The manufacturers are no longer over here. I'm moving them upstairs. But that's not what the main important thing is today. Today we got a new update. Um, I wonder if I could actually reach up there from here. Sorry, that just randomly popped into my head. Oh, I can. Nice. All right, so I'm moving manufacturers up here to the second floor. Second story? Second floor? One of those words. <laughs> Anyways, built the second floor, moving the manufacturing up here. I'm using the lifts, uh, the lift conveyors to get the product up here to be uh, manufactured into its final goods. Um, revamped my power stations. Um like basically doubled them, put them all upstairs and downstairs. So our power supply is gigantic now. We have tons of power, and you know I would want it didn't I wanted to have some headroom and not have to worry about power for a while. And uh, with any luck, we can do that. But they just released a new update yesterday, so we have got some new tiers to explore. The train in Tier 6, the monorail train technology. This is one of the new things that they uh, released in this update. And I believe there are two new phases that we can uh, research over here. At the space elevator, we can unlock a couple new tiers. Um, it's supposed to be nuclear power along with the train has been released. Um, but we'll have to see what all comes with that, what all of that entails. Now, we know where to find uranium. I assume that's what we're going to need. Um, project assembly systems will unlock tier 7 and tier 8. Yes! Oh, man. Alright, so we need a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh, a thousand computers, a thousand motors, and a thousand heavy modular frames. That hurts. That hurts right there, the heavy modular frames. Oh, gosh. Alright, so I've really got to get to work upstairs on all the, uh, the new, um, manufacturers up there to produce all these goods. Um... I had all those manufacturers here, and, I, and I've got some computers and heavy modular frames, right? But I started tearing all this out and rebuilding it all upstairs, and I've actually been working on it a little bit at a time here and there, not really putting a lot of time into it, just kind of fooling around when I had a spare uh, hour or so. <clears throat> but the idea is that I can send all of these items on these conveyor belts up the lifts to the uh, manufacturers, right? And I even figured out, as I was doing all this, a much more efficient way of doing this main pipeline with all my resources coming in and, like, these conveyor belts. I figured out a way to do this kind of by accident where I could stack conveyor belts on top of each other. And, and it's just something that never, I don't, for whatever reason, just did not occur to me. But basically, if you take a... Let me see where I've got one at. Right here. If you and, and I figured this out while doing the manufacturers, so if you stack these um, stackable conveyor poles on these, you can actually I could have actually routed all of those conveyor belts into one row, just using stackables, right? Like every one of these could have turned and came in and been on one conveyor belt and then turned them out as I need them. So all of this has got to be revamped, redone, reworked. Um, the whole base is, is basically getting a do-over, right? Getting a, getting, a, getting a makeover, I guess I should say. But yeah, the fuel system, the, the new power system is working really well. I've got tons of power right now. What have we got? 12 generators, I think? 14? Something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, 20. Wow. 20 power generators. That's the fuel generators right there. So... I just kind of reworked my fuel system coming in here where I've got the fuel being produced and, and I've got it uh, I expanded it so I made sure I would not run out of fuel so I've got fuel now being produced in three uh, refineries and shipping out uh, along one conveyor belt it's all merging I probably could have done it a little neater but uh, anyways they're all converging into one splitting up to go into the um, which is something I you know, just completely overlooked that I could put a splitter. I mean, I could connect a riser to a splitter. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's Again, that's something else I, I accidentally discovered when I was over here goofing off, um, trying to get things to snap, trying to figure out how to get fuel up there to build all this. I accidentally stumbled across the fact, oh, you can just snap a stupid riser uh, to it, and there you go. Your conveyor belt goes straight up. It just snaps directly onto the back of the splitter, 
And you're done. Just so. We've got to gather a bunch of resources. One, to unlock the trains. And two, to start uh, fueling the uh, space elevator with the materials that it needs to unlock tier 7 and tier 8. Let's see what we need for the train. Uh, this might be easier. It's tier 6. So, what do we need for this train? Uh, 200 motors, 100 computers, and 150 heavy modular frames. That's pretty easy. I can do that real quick, actually. Yep, in fact, I had it all in storage, so super easy. All right, let's unlock this monorail train technology. Super cool. I can't wait to see what this is all about. set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of Pioneers and cargo. Alright, so we can ride the trains too. Pioneers and cargo. Alright, cool, cool. Um, well, what does it take to build trains then, I wonder? Um, I guess we're probably going to craft them. No, but they'll probably be in this menu, right? Uh, vehicle? Up oh, here they are. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow, this is tons of stuff. An electric locomotive, so we need a locomotive f is the engine. Then we have freight cars. I don't know how many we can attach, but I assume several. Um, train stations for them to dock at. Freight platforms, I guess, for them to... Uh, it says to load and unload their goods. An empty platform when you need to create some empty space. And then railways used to transport trains in a reliable and fast manner. Has a wide turn angle, so make sure to plan it out properly. Oh, cool. We're going to have to play around and see how this works. Um, for now, I want to build a train. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big train. I just want a little train to ride around on. Toot, toot, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. Here's the train station. I want to kind of put it down to kind of figure out how this whole thing works. All right, there's our train station down. I assume that's the way the tracks are going to go. It's got room for two trains. Oh, that's cool. Um, I was just going to make a circle here, but we'll see how how this works here. Railway. Let's just snap in. Oh, okay, so it runs off the center. I was thinking it runs off each of those lower sections, but it runs off the center portion. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, and I just kind of control it? Oh, this is different. All right, hang on. i got to move my truck then. A little explorer's going to be in the way. You get down here out of the way, buddy. Let's see. Pull that up again. Railway. I should be able to make at least 20 of them. Probably more. And how does this work exactly? I just want, like, something basic for now. Let me see. Let's just kind of run it in a loop. Can I can I just do like a circle, like a little choo-choo train? Something simple. <laughs> How does this work? Get a nice big... Oh, they do have a really like slowed turning radius. A really wide turning radius, I guess I should say. The track is too long. Okay, so is that one? Oh, man. I'm hearing a... What am I hearing up here? Is it that? Yeah, it's going to be that. It's going to be one of those little nodes we can collect. It still don't have a use, I don't think. Let's see. Nope, still says work in progress. So, still not a use for those. Uh, I don't know when they're going to implement those, but maybe when they're done with early access, we'll have a use for those things. In the meantime, I'm going to be keep collecting them, I guess. So, look at that train track. That's one piece. Wow. So I could really get crazy with this. That was one piece, yeah. Man, all right. Let me circle it back. I want to make just like a big, just to kind of get something stupid. Something <laughs> something finished and finalized up here. Man, the turning radius is crazy on these train tracks. All right, about right there. And we're going to run it back. We have like four pieces. That's all I'm going to use. Just to kind of get back to the uh, train station there. Let's start curving it in a little bit. It's probably not going to be uh, very symmetrical, but we're going to do our best here. Oh no, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be symmetrical. Yeah, 
It's too sharp a turn. All right, I'm gonna have to like curve this thing out a bit. Make it work here. There we go. All right, so we got our tracks placed. Just uh, goofing off here. This is not gonna be anything permanent. But now let's see how our oh we can configure the train station. Oh, it needs electricity. Of course, it needs electricity. Oh, you have a timetable and a oh you can set up a timetable for deliveries or something. Or like, is it like when the next train is scheduled to arrive? Oh, this is gonna be so cool. All right, electric automotive, locomotive, I guess I should say. Got that placed. Now, I wonder how many freight cars I can place behind it. Oh, I can't afford it. I don't have enough heavy modular frames. No! Okay, well, at least we got the, the choo-choo train, right? I can drive it. I, can dr I can't drive it. I don't have any electricity. Oh, and I'm sticking it to the wrong place. It's, I was expecting it to go that way. It's facing that direction. My bad. My bad, my bad. All right. So, gosh, I got to run electricity out here. All right, let me... uh find a power pole somewhere <laughs> I gotta get this thing online all right I got power connected we should have electricity now hopefully this is working can I drive it now oh, 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 oh. nice oh wow this thing is fast oh this is what I'm gonna use for long distance travel because you can connect freight cars to it it's loud too right but this is like going through turns and stuff. It's still doing 120 kilometers an hour. Like it hasn't even got up to a good straightaway yet to really pick up speed. So I'm going to use this for long distance transports. Let me slow it down here. Oh, it's brakes suck too. <laughs> I'm not even hauling anything. Come on, stop. Stop, bro. Stop. Can it back up? Oh, it can go in reverse. Nice. 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 That is too cool. Oh, that is so cool. All right. So we can use this for long distance transports. Like, if I was still pulling oil from way, 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 way out in that direction, that would be useful for hauling the oil back and forth or for traveling out there, making any changes we need or, or exploring the map. Like, I'm thinking we should probably build one. Let me pull up the map here. I'm thinking we should probably build a locomotive for exploration. Just kind of like set it up here, like run it way out here to it and, and set up a different train station so we can like get off and get on and put a, uh, an explorer vehicle there and then run to another train station over here, put an explorer vehicle there, that sort of thing, run over this way, do it again, and then back to home base, right? So we can have like four stations across the map. So we've explored a good fair portion of the map most of it probably right but not all of it and there's supposed to be some new areas that they've rehashed in this update so man i got a lot of work to do i i need to get a lot of stuff done at the base obviously so we can start producing uh the computers again and everything we need to to put into the space elevator for tier seven um but i also oh speaking of there's there's the uh this little spaceship coming back uh, but also, I want to fool around with this uh, this train, but I'm need, going to need a lot of heavy modular frames. I'm going to need a lot of steel pipes and steel beams to run these tracks everywhere and freight cars. So i got a lot of work to do. I've got my work cut out for me here in the next uh, few days to a uh, couple weeks, I guess. Who knows how long this is going to take. Gonna take a while though, uh, but that's all the time we've got for today. I will get to work on this uh, uh, and have something set up for you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Post me any comments or questions down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.